In this video, we're going to be going over how to create an access level and assign that access level to users. So in order to create an access level, we actually have to create a schedule first. So let's go up to the top here and select Access Configuration and select Schedules. So this will bring you a list of all the schedules in your system, but for this example, we need to make a new one. So let's go ahead and hit Add Schedule. So I'm going to name my schedule test schedule. I'm going to add a schedule duration of Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now that I've got that done, I can go ahead and hit save down at the bottom. So now that that schedule has been created, let's go back to access configuration up at the top and select access levels. This will bring you a list of all the access levels in your system, but let's go ahead and add a new one. So let's hit add access level. So the first thing we can do is name our access level. I'm going to name mine normal office employee. And then let's go ahead and hit save. So now that we've got that named, um, we can actually go ahead and add the access level entry over to the right. So let's go ahead and select that button. So I'm going to go ahead and select the reader. For this example, I'm going to use the main entry. And then let's choose that schedule we just created, test schedule, and hit save. So now what we've done is we've assigned the south entrance, which is the main entry, to our test schedule, which, as we remember, is Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So now anybody we assign in this list over here will have access to the south entrance from, 5 a from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now there's a couple ways to assign people to the access level. Um, the easiest way is just to hit the assign person. Um, you can start typing their name and they'll appear in the list, and we can just select them that way and hit save. If you need to add a bunch of people at once, you can go up to the top and select Access Control, and then List. That will bring up a full list of all of the cardholders in your system. You can actually drag this tab and make it side by side here, and then you can just press Hold Control and click on each person you would like, and then just drag them over into this list. And then just like that, they're added. And then we can go ahead and just close this and hit save. If we need the users to have access to more doors, we can go ahead and just create another access level entry. Select whichever door we want. So I'm gonna select the IT room and then select whichever schedule you would like them to have access to. So I'm going to go ahead and select our test schedule again, and then hit save. 